Hey everybody, Concealed Tactics here. Got a good look at my uh, neckline there. Today I want to talk about something that I uh, really feel everybody needs to practice. Yes, this is uh, safety checked and everything. Um, but um, after going to the range the other day with my friend who's relatively new, I want to probably say, other than safety checking, the biggest thing and things I really didn't think about new user, a new gun owner user uh, doing for very, very much when I first uh, started talking to him was before I even got up to shoot is something that I really feel that it's another necessary evil to practice. Uh, we talked about uh, you know picking up the gun and putting your hand and make sure your fingers always on the outside of the trigger whether you grab it left-handed or you were to pick it up and uh, pick it up right-handed or left-handed or vice versa you should be able to pick it up and not have your finger in the trigger ever. But the other thing that uh, I really spent a lot of time on with them, and this is something that uh, is practicing grips. Um, instinctively, you need to you need to be able to put your web your hand up in the back of your gun instinctively very quickly. Um, I had a tend uh, tendency to notice that they wanted to hold it more like down here. Well, obviously you're going to lose control and have issues with recoil and shot placement because you're not consistent. That's one of the one of the major issues because he would always be a little bit down, so now you got this wobbly effect going on. That has to do with shot placement also, but a little bit about safety because obviously that's a little bit if you were shooting a poor powerful handgun, the less you're actually in there. I got huge hands and this is a small gun, so it's really hard to show that much. But the other issue was um two handed placement, which um I really didn't think would be an issue because I mean, everybody sees cop movies and stuff, and I've shown him some basics. But you know, he, to be able to go up and grip and grip underneath, um, make sure that you're, you know, in case there is a blowout or some reason, you're you're not covering the bottom of the the gun, and also thumb placement. Um, he had huge issues of you know safety of wanting to put thumbs back here behind the slide, which you all know, well, you should know, that, of course, with a mechanism on a, a, a semi-automatic pistol, the slide comes back. Well, if your thumb's back there, it's going to get bit and could break it or do something more to it. Um, the other thing is, you want to put his thumbs up on the slide, even when gripping up here. Um, you want to put his fingers up on the slides. So, Obviously, I'll see if I can do this. Hey, all right. That didn't work out quite the way I wanted it to. But gripping the gun, putting your hands up there, making sure this part of your palm fills in that hole. Did not understand that concept, okay? And keeping both thumbs down in the line. Um, so that's a huge safety issue. More, more so than gripping a little bit down low that it's probably controllable, but when you start putting your thumbs up on the slide or behind the slide, huge safety issue. Uh, so I just wanted to sort of go over those since I'm not a huge long video or anything, but these are just a few things I've noticed on top of uh, the normal, I'm not putting my finger in the, you know, this is, this is something they want to do all the time. And it's, that's instinctive. And the other thing the other thing is obviously putting the thumbs up in the wrong area, having your thumb up behind the slide, and also the other uh, thing, especially safety tip at, while at the range, was making sure the muzzle was down range, painted, pointing in a safe direction. Uh, new users tend to forget most of these things, even though they practice maybe safety checking the gun, knowing how to drop the slide and safety checking, they start sweeping the barrel across people. Or after they've taking a shot they point their gun like this to the left or to the right it's like bam 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 no oh, I shot a shot a shot and then they go and turn their gun like this now that's pointing to the guy at the next range so these are some things to practice and safety issues that um, that I really wanted to bring up again for new users something to think about uh, I don't have a revolver to go through, through, through any of the revolver um, uh, safety issues, you know, checking and clearing your gun and decocking your, your gun after firing and things like that. But uh, I did want to just point these few safety tips out and a few, 
few things that you should go through and really learn and, and you know, there's books manuals and there's tons of great uh, videos out there I'll probably be making ones just on grip and things like that but this is more of a safety type of video things not to do while you're first getting your gun and that and when you first shoot your gun is obviously make sure you have a good grip your webbing of your hand is up in the gun finger out of the trigger and learn how to grip the gun correctly with both hands and single-handedly and practice also with your left hand finger out of the trigger in case you ever need it so just a little quick update just from spending a little time with a new shooter and you know some of the things that we take for granted as guys who shoot all the time we do it second nature because we practiced it for for a long time but um, I cannot say how many times you know during that course of time I had to go back over watch your hands watch your thumbs get your thumb lower check your positioning make sure you don't you know make sure that the gun is unloaded obviously after every shot make sure the slide is back and, and it's locked back after and you're empty don't sweep the muzzle across over towards the navel make sure the muzzle's pointed down so these are just a quick little update on uh, some of the things that hanging out with a new shooter and things I had to spend a lot of time just probably saying you know five ten times more than I probably needed to but I'd rather you know it be a safe adventure and a fun adventure for a new user using a gun so um, keep these things in mind uh, safety tips hopefully we'll, um, we're working on getting a better camera here so I can actually not drop the camera and uh, be able to use a tripod and show you some of these things myself alright um, this is concealed tactics out have a good day